Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's <laughs> Corner. <laughs> hey, welcome to Craig's Corner for uh, Wednesday, July 17th, 2013. Today I'm going to talk about how to just do a basic setup in terms of gain on uh, various mixers for any TC Helicon device. I kind of realized that in the very first episode of Craig's Corner, I talked a little bit about gain staging when you're doing you know, one TCH device into another, but I've never really showed you how to just hook one up to a mixer and what the differences are that you can expect to see in terms of the gain and you know how to deal with EQs and pans and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do uh, one section with my PreSonus Fire Studio here. Uh, um, you know, it's a mixer that can handle PA type stuff and also works as an interface, an audio interface for your computer. So the setup is exactly the same in terms of setting the trims and that kind of stuff. And I'm also going to use a, hold on, I got it over here, uh, a Mackie 1202 uh, VLZ. So um, just so we have a couple of things to work with here. Uh, pardon the thumping and all that kind of stuff as I move things around. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to look at is I got my mic, got my cable and I got my regular PA, right? So when you show up to the show, um, you'll obviously see that this meter is moving because that's my uh, overhead mic so that I sound all stexified for you guys. But um, when you show up to a show you, or you show up to your, your rehearsal space, I mean, typically you're gonna go you know, over and plug in your mic into the XLR input and you're gonna start messing with the trim here, right? So you're gonna start turning it up. You're gonna say, hey, 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 all right, check one, check two. Okay, oh wait, I'm clipping here. So, hey, hey, check one, check one, check one, check one, hey, check, check. Right, so you're going to adjust your trim here until it gets to a point where you've got a good level of signal, you know, you've got a lot of signal, but you don't have any clipping. Great, so you're noticing that, well, this is at maybe 2 o'clock, something like that. All right, so you set this up, you would then bring up your gain, you bring up your master, and you can hear me through the PA now, there we go. All right, so that's how you work with it in a normal situation. So what happens when you take your TC Helicon device and you stick it in between the microphone and these, uh, these preamps on the mixer here? Well, essentially what happens, it, just so you know in terms of a preamp, the mic itself puts out a very tiny electrical signal and that needs to be boosted. So that's what the job of the preamp is and we've boosted it at this, this mixer here. Well, there's a preamp inside a TC Helicon device as well. I've got a play here that I'm gonna use for the example. So if you boost the level within the play, by the time that signal gets to the mixer, it doesn't need to be amplified again, or at least it needs to be amplified a lot less than it would have been uh, if you just had the mic going straight in. And I think that's where a lot of the confusion lies. Okay, so I've got my mic in, I've got it plugged into the board. I wanna now insert my TC Helicon device in the way, basically. So I'm gonna take out my, my uh, cable here, I'm gonna plug it into my voice live play that I've got going on. And then I'm gonna do the same process I did on the mixer, but on the play instead. So using the mic gain knob on the side, I'm gonna set the level. So I'm just gonna stick around my knee here. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. So you can see, hey, 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 hey. I get a little bit of the orange light. I'm not sure if you can quite see it. Maybe we'll stick it down under here. Hey, 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 yeah. But I don't get any of the red, right? So I'm not clipping, but I'm up at a, a quite a high level of signal, which is good. You want a lot of signal going into the box so we can use it to process. So now what happens? Okay, got a couple of cables coming out of my voice live play here. And I want them to go into the mixer. Now I'm gonna treat this as though it's stereo, although you most often at a, a, like a club or something like that, you're gonna run into a mono PA. They typically bridge the PA so they can get more power out of the speakers and uh, they don't run it in stereo. But I will treat this as though we're going in stereo. So I take my two XLR leads and I plug them into the two channels that I'm gonna use for uh, the inputs here. So, on this particular mixer, I can just select on these ones and I can link them and it automatically pans them. I'll show you how to do it with the pans on the VLZ in one sec when we kind of repeat the process here. But I'm going to look at these input meters and you'll see, hey, 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 hey. Now this is with the meters all the way down. And before, you wouldn't see anything, barely anything registering there. Now I'm going to start turning just this one up. Hey, 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 oh, yep, yep, click, clip, 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 back from clipping, back, back, okay. So now if you take a look at the, uh, the knob that I've got going on here, I'm closer to sort of 11 o'clock, 10.30, something like that. So these preamps impart you know, that much gain that I need to put into it to make, make sure that these are, are coming up at the right level. Hey, hey, oh, still clipping a bit, back it off. Hey, 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 there we go. Okay, so now what I've done 
is I've set the gains appropriately for the voice I play already boosting the signal before it gets here. And you'll notice that it's cranked you know, quite a bit less than it was before. Now you'll notice on the Mackie mixer when we repeat this in one sec here, it's gonna be even more uh, uh, sort of dramatic than that. The, the amount that you're gonna have the trim turned down on the Mackie is gonna be considerably more than you would on this. And that's just because different preamps have different structures electrically. Some of them boost more than others and all that kind of stuff. But essentially now I've got it in stereo. I turn up my, uh, my faders here. I typically will put them at Unity, which is basically the zero or the U on any of the, the mixers, and then start bringing up my main. Hey, 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 there we go. I got stereo in my PA. And I would bring that up to the point where it starts to feed back slightly. Let's see. Well, this is gonna go pretty low. There we go, I can kind of hear feedback just barely creeping in there. I'd wanna knock that back just a little bit and then start singing my loudest. And that's essentially the, the loudest I can get the vocals to come out of the PA. And if it means I can't get enough vocal because the band's too loud, I either need a different PA or I need to move my monitors around so I can get more gain before feedback, uh, or I need to get the band to turn down. Uh, good luck with getting the band to turn down. All right, let's go over the Mackie mixer now. All right, so we're gonna unplug the uh, uh, Studio Live mixer here. So I'm gonna turn down these input trims. I'm gonna mute the channels. I'm going to turn down the channel faders as well, so now everything is kind of muted and we're ready to unplug. So I unplug my play. Okay, I'm not going to redo the, uh, the showing the process on the, the Mackie here um, of getting the signal level. Well, maybe I will anyway. Ah, I will anyway. So let me uh, plug this sucker in here. Okay, so let's get that going. There we go. So yeah, let's do it anyway. Let, let's do exactly what we would do, but Again, okay, so I'm going to take my XLR, I'm going to plug it into the Mackie here. Now on the Mackie, you're going to use the solo button to see what levels are going on, because you can see, hey, 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 no matter what I say, if I'm turning my trim knob up here and I have my, my faders turned up, nothing shows up on these meters. You need to use the solo button. So you press the pre-fade solo button, this rude solo light comes on, and I didn't know what rude meant for a long time until somebody said it, it's rude, it's like in your face, it's flashing to make sure that it tells you, something is soloing right now. So anyways, if you ever wondered what rude meant, it's meaning to be rude and obnoxious. All right, so now you can see I'm getting some level here, and I turn this up, hey, 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 and the Mackie wants me to be, the level to be somewhere around the zero mark. I could turn it up higher if I want to, but I'm gonna go with around zero. Hey, 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 yep, yep, yep. Oh, now I sound like that guy from uh, Storage Wars. Yep, yep. Okay, so I got my, my level set here. Now, what I would do is I would unsolo it, I would turn up the, the gain to Unity again, and then I would start turning up my main mix until I got the same uh, situation I was, had before where I might get a little bit of feedback, turn it down a little bit, that's my max level. On this mixer, uh, when you start putting in the, the voice live play, we're going to do some adjustment of the EQ and the pans. I didn't do it on the PreSonus one, but only because it's just more straightforward to actually show it to you on this thing. So, go into our voice live play again. We take our two outputs that we had, we're going to plug them into the Mackie mixer. One here. As I rotate these around and try and get them lined up for you. There we go. Okay. Now I've got the two inputs coming in and I've left this input where it was before. If I solo, hey, 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 you'll notice I'm right up in the yellow. Hey, 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 I'm gonna wanna turn that down. Hey, 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 yep, yep, storage wars. Hey, yep, yep, there. So now you can see I've had to back off by, I don't know, four, four o'clock kind of thing, four four numbers on the clock uh, to get that to the right level. So I would I would now bring up my other one, my other side here solo the other side, hey, 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 make sure they're roughly the same level, and they are, and now I've got two channels of the, of the, uh, the mix coming in here, and I'm going to want to do a couple of things to the EQ and to the pans. So first thing, and you may want to tell your front of house engineer if you have uh, a sound guy, is I'm flattening the EQs, everything right in the middle. Tone is doing its job within the play, I don't want to mess with that at all. Now if I'm running a stereo PA, I'm going to pan one channel all the way to the left, the other channel all the way to the right. That's gonna give you my stereo spread, and then I would perform the same uh, process that I did on the PreSonus in the previous bit there, is I'm gonna turn up the gain to Unity on each of these. There's actually a little detent here that, that sort of stops it, and then I would slowly turn up my main until I got feedback, and then turn it down just a little bit, and that's my maximum volume. So uh, I kinda, this one's been a little bit long, and I sort of apologize I haven't done this earlier. Uh, you know, people quite often, you know, have uh, have asked me, you know, why am I getting feedback, or I'm getting this distortion or this clipping. 
this process, um, pay attention to the functions that you do, the, the process that you actually go through. The mixer is completely irrelevant. They all work in the same way. They've got a preamp in them. They usually have a master gain. Some, even if you don't have a channel gain on it all, and you just have like an input and a master, doesn't matter. You're still going to want to adjust that input to make sure that it's not clipping when you've got a TC Helicon device in between your mic and the PA. So uh, hopefully that'll help you guys. It'll work with you know the Bose systems. It'll work with any kind of PC interface or anything like that. And obviously with these Mackie mixers that are quite uh, quite popular and you know Behringer variants and all that kind of stuff. So thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me today, and hopefully you learned a little bit about the way that gain staging works.